It is finally that time of year again. The World Series is here, and we've got two teams with more than enough to prove between the Houston Astros and the Atlanta Braves. And joining me today for our Fair or Foul is our co-host for the week, Andy Nesbitt, and our MLB reporters, Bob Nightingale and Gabe Locke. So thank you all for joining us. Thanks for having thank us. The Braves wouldn't be here without the moves they made at the deadline. So with that in mind, Fair or Foul, trade deadline deals actually work and they can turn average teams into contenders. Fair or foul? Uh, you're making me go fair on this one because <laughs> the, uh, the it really did work out great for the Braves. Sometimes the trade deadline is a little overrated. Sometimes it can sort of uh, kind of boost a team over the top. But it, it really did uh, give the Braves a significant amount of momentum. And to me, it's almost a, a testament to the greatness of Ronald Acuna Jr., uh, you know, a guy who blows out his knee another MVP caliber type player. They needed three guys to replace him when you're talking about Adam Duvall, Jorge Soler, and then Eddie Rosario, who just absolutely came back into his own during uh, the NLCS during which he won an MVP after having a really poor season uh, with Cleveland. So you're talking about three guys totally reinvigorated coming from non-contenders and got into that atmosphere and and really excelled. So I'm going to go fair. Absolutely. Uh, that uh, that helped put the Braves over the top with their aggression there. This and you forgot Jock Peterson. So four oh, out. That's right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> One of those trades, as you mentioned, was Jock Peterson. Do you think he's become the star of October? Fair or foul? Uh, fair. Absolutely. Uh, Major League Baseball always struggles to promote its stars, so it's nice to see a player go out and do it on his own. And all he had to do was throw on a pearl necklace to do it <laughs> because every time this guy steps up to the bat, we did a post on his pearl necklaces and why he wears is it this post spikes through the roof every time you can see every time he comes up to the plate everyone's watching it Fan, uh, friends of mine who are just casuals will text me and be like is this guy wearing a pearl necklace absolutely <laughs> after the nlcs win he's then on the field after the game with two glasses of wine for he and his wife and they're drinking a nice bottle of red wine on the field and everyone's talking about jock peterson living the dream uh, I think he is one of the stars, and baseball needs personalities, and they finally got one here, and all it needed was a pearl necklace and a, and a glass of wine. <laughs> so this question is going to be for everyone. I would love for all of you to give your input on this. So fair or foul? We can no longer doubt the Astros' abilities if they win this title. Fair or foul? Bob? That's definitely fair. I mean, this is uh, five years now. They reached at least the ALCS, you know, the quarterfinals, uh, three years in the World Series uh, you know, people remember the cheating. There were so many teams cheating, they got caught. You know, it's like keeping Barry Bonds or Roger Clemens out of the uh, Hall of Fame. We really think those guys are the only ones juicing. No. So uh, these guys are great. I mean, it's a mini dynasty here. We talk about the Yankees from 96 to 2001. You know, here, here comes the uh, Astros right in that group, uh, a, a fabulous team. And I think for them, they want to rub this in everybody's face and say, look how good we are. And they should have won a 19 too. So they should be winning, you know, trying to win for the third time in five years. I'm going to go fair on that as well. Uh, it's really hard to deny their legacies. Uh, we'll never know exactly what went on when with every team. But uh, at this point, five consecutive ALCSs, three World Series titles. Uh, one of the greater infields you'll ever see of all time in Yuli Gurriel, Altuve, Correa, and Bregman. Uh, beyond that, the 2021 Astros, you're starting to see with every passing year, a greater share of the production coming from guys who, you know, were practically in high school when the cheating scandal went down. Uh, Jordan Alvarez was in A ball in 2017. Uh, Kyle Tucker was, uh, I think, in double A. Uh, those guys might end up being the stars of the World Series. And, uh, you know, slowly the gang is being broken up. George Springer is a Blue Jay, still gets booed. Carlos Correa, probably gone. He'll probably still get booed. So it's going to follow them forever, uh, the guys that were heavily involved in it. But for the Astros themselves, uh, there's just so many contributors now beyond 2017 that uh, I think it's going to be easier for them to kind of shake that off. All right, Andy, fair or foul? The cheating scandal and having the Astros play in the World Series is good for baseball. I'm going to say fair because sports are great when there's a villain and sports are great when that villain wins. And that's what these Houston Astros are, for good or for bad. Uh, people are casuals are going to tune into this because they're going to go, oh, yeah, the Astros, they cheated in 2017. Let's cheer for the Braves. Like, if, if, if that cheating scandal didn't happen, I have to admit the Astros versus Braves isn't the, isn't the sexiest matchup of all time. But uh, the cheating scandal definitely adds an element to it. What do you guys think, Bob and Gabe? Good? I, I totally agree, just because uh, it's, what, it's what I call the LeBron test. A couple years ago, LeBron James weighed in on the Astros scandal, which uh, was like 
wow, okay, this is really kind of expanding, uh, you know, expanding the zone there. So anytime, uh, you know, you you have a topic that can bring people in and provide a context and a storyline, uh, it's absolutely good for the game. Yeah, I mean, baseball wanted that. What, what their dream world series was the Astros Dodgers rematch of 17 because the Dodgers were so outspoken about it. Uh, Atlanta's kept pretty quiet about it, you know, honestly. So I think it'll be you know, brought up a lot, maybe game one, game two. And then it kind of dropped, but I think if it was a Dodgers Astros, that would have been the, the theme the entire time. Thank you guys for playing fair or foul. Should be a fun series, right, Andy? Yeah, whatever. Astros probably in five. Is it time for <laughs> Eli Manning yet? Yes. The star of ESPN's Monday Night Manning cast, Eli Manning, joins the show next. Hey, sports fans, if you want to watch more sports seriously, be sure to check out these clips right here. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel to see all the great content from us here at USA Today Sports.